Namaste, beloveds. This is Lynn Pearl, and welcome to your daily oracle, or maybe it's weekly now, I'm not quite sure what's happening. It's kind of creating its own sense and form, but I'll continue to share these, I think, insightful messages and also help each of us as we're moving along this passage, this divine path of our own um, evolution. So I also wish to like at least share with you and say, you know, from my perspective, at least when I do these readings, I see these as opportunities for creating space for, you know, healing, be it miraculous, be it insightful, be it an awareness, be it an epiphany, be it a synchronicity, knowing that it's like a confirmation that as you're on this path and you're evolving, that all these messages at some time and some point make clear sense <laughs> so that we can be a little bit more fully awakened and aware and um, the word they want to share is like sensible in life but sensible as in all our senses are enlightened and heightened and awake and so it's part of our um, energy field I would say that wants to be awoken so let us see what guidance has for us today and this week and just also to let you know so this week um Let's say yesterday, what I say Saturday starts, um, Chiron is stations to go retrograde in Aries, that's Saturday, and the Mercury is stationed to go direct on Sunday. And then yesterday is, um, that was Tuesday, right? Yesterday, Tuesday, um, night at nine degrees in Aries, both Chiron and um, Mars, <laughs> connect they conjunct it kind of together in the sky now retrograde in um, Chiron is meeting up with um, Mars they're having a little dance at nine degrees which to me it feels like it's um, a knowledgeable place for great healing Mars wants you to take a leap in action especially in Aries where it's home but a big deep leap in action for your greatest healing so what has been standing in the way what have you been fearful of this is a time for great healing as we can look upon the planet. So that's sort of the energetic picture, if you will, that is helping us move through this evolutionary portal. So let us close our eyes and connect to our breath and our breathing. And let our mind be still so we're not really thinking. We always just want our minds to be still so that we know that as we sit in this place, we can ask for the highest guidance and the highest healing. Take another deep breath, breathing in, breathing out. And let us see what guidance has for us for today. I always feel like there's like always a drum roll so I get super nervous. Oh gosh. <laughs> the reason why I'm laughing is because this card I pulled out yesterday in the morning before I was teaching yoga. And to me it's like I've been seeing us as, you know, still in this womb or this egg, if you will, that wants to birth. But every time I see this, it says expectancy, and it always reminds me of birth. It reminds me of um, a womb, it does. There's also this alchemy around it. There's Isis, there's the Ankh, there's also Horus, there's the uh, insightful, always seen eye. And then there's some other symbols that um, seem a little like star-like or ancient symbols from different tribes if you will, and there's this thing of, it's like, it's almost like a melting pot, it's something that's coming to be birthed, there's this great love around it, and then there's this enlightened healing, and even as I look in the picture, if you can see this, there's these like orbs here in the picture, so it feels like we get in this like, maybe this is why these ancient symbols are coming up, we're receiving healing from places beyond our even knowing, that humanity is getting prepared, there's a birthing that wants to happen. And if each of us are on that golden path and seeking out our own healing, then when we focalize our energy on the potential energy of something possible, that something brings everything together and births into the world, something that can be wonderful. And if we look at the colors of this, it's like a flower that's blossoming, it's pink, it's so much heart healing that is happening with assistance from those around us and getting guidance to pull another card. So I'm gonna put this card down and just see what they um, 
want to add on because sometimes there's an add on or clarification to so let's take a deep breath in breathe all the air out let's see what guidance has to add on to this it says messages message from afar so these are these beings that are coming here and it's like almost like they this reminds me actually this reminds me of um so messages from these beings that are sharing a trajectory a message for us but then also this imagery reminds us of maybe we are aries we're in aries we aries that warrior that great spiritual warrior and we're going through that healing that we need there's that darkness that we felt inside maybe it feels like it's on the surface too but there's this light that is coming forward that's this action this is where chiron and aries are meeting it's almost like that meeting of like the two sides like we have to look at our greatest fears and from within that's where we grow and this is this connection to this expectancy this possibility this arranging this newness and it's reaching out towards the stars and the sky and the messages from afar whatever that means to you too it seems like this is like ancient civilizations talking to us reminding us reminding us of the power of humanity the divine spark why we're we here we're here to birth great love in the world and even like the pink is starting to show through like all of that anger and all that um, darkness that is there it's starting to this light is starting to breathe new life into everything but I feel like as if we focus our attention truly what it is that we want in our hearts if you truly want healing if you truly want the world to be a better place then we have to start to focalize our attention on what it is that we truly feel and wish for in the world but if we walk around angry you know, it's like stabbing yourself in the foot over and over and over again. And that's what it feels like. Maybe that's our greatest wound is that we keep stabbing ourselves in the foot. But there's this growth, there's this thing, there's this expectancy, there's this birthing that wants to come through humanity. I know you feel it in your heart. I know I feel it in mine. And you know there's a greater image, there's a greater possibility. So when we're in Aries, that's divine spark. It's this great healing of what is in you. Let us step through the doorway of our fear and overcome our fear. The thing where you think that you can't do, do it today. This is about taking action. What's your greatest fear? Take the action to step through the doorway and give yourself to love because that's what it is. That's a great expectancy. It's great love. And we're birthing that on this planet. So hopefully all that made sense. And may you find that in your heart. Seek into great wisdom too. You know, if there's like something that calls to you from ancient civilizations too, this is time maybe for it to investigate that curiosity you know, or meditate and see what comes through for you too. Meditation is medicine. It helps bring bliss to the brain. So that's the whole thing. Wednesday night, 6.30, I do a little yoga nidra. So you can come visit me for that. We're creating healing. I like to call it healing nidra because it's really creating this healing sleep. And helping you to reach into a place of your deepest heart and bring be the healer here on the planet that's the change that we need so again hopefully all that made sense from my heart to yours may you always be blessed namaste and again this is linda pearl and you can find me at lindapearl.com and i'll see you all again soon namaste